I think uh, India really lives in Bharat, right? So therefore, as cities become more and more saturated and uh, all of that, the need to disperse business as well as economic activity in the rural areas and the semi-urban areas becomes very important. Uh, more importantly, we have to stop migration of labor from rural to urban in order to avoid concentration of uh, people and all of that. So I think, uh, and the fact of the matter is that uh, India has an uh, enormous amount of business potential in the rural areas because people are now graduating out of an agriculture orientation into services and uh, small manufacturing and all of that. So there's a potential is quite immense. I think we are only limited by our imagination on what we can do. I think the most important factors are, uh, one is infrastructure, the second part is uh, skill development because people may not be aware of how to grow businesses, incubate them and uh, take them to a good level. Market linkages become very important. They may be good in, let's say, handicrafts or small uh, manufacturing and things like that. They don't know how to reach out to the market. So providing a good marketplace uh, becomes a very important factor. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, initiatives like uh, government e-marketplace or the uh, internet-oriented uh, marketing uh, sales, uh, uh, you know, networks, they, they really become very important for uh, the, the rural markets. Now, with the growth of UPI, payments has become less of a problem. I think it's become ubiquitous now wherever you go, there is UPI. So, it creates a great uh, base for com commerce to really take place in the rural areas. I think it's a very important factor for us to recognize that uh, as you go into a new territory, such as relatively unexplored territory like the rural India and all of that, the risk factors are going to be a little higher. So today, uh, fortunately, there is a credit culture which is very strong in the rural areas through the microfinance institutions and all of that. Gradually, that microfinance orientation needs to go towards the micro MSME kind of a, a scenario where we are able to provide funding for the uh, smaller businesses and uh, so on. I think uh, development of uh, a skill development uh, an initiative also would become very important and that a lot has to be done from the government side on that. So that's uh, some, those will remove some of the basic constraints that uh, today the rural India faces uh, in order to grow.